So all I know is I'm gonna have a lot of raw meat after this. What do you know? Approximately 850,000. Let's just sell all that. <laughs> I know it's the one island challenge, but the, the area is just too small. No, no, don't, don't mind. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not exporting. Totally do this normally. <laughs> I really only did that for one reason. The reason being that now my quarry looks like that. This might be more than I bargained for. Oh, I, I got enough ore for 38 gold just off that. I finally have enough for a skull amulet. 75% more resources. I'm both plagued with having to mine the resources, but also happy that I now finally have resources. It, we all struggle just different planes. Being as I only need the one quarry. How much gold do we think I get for 26 topaz? The answer was about 2,000. And a level up. And we'll also just sell all my other gems, why not? 8,000? Put a droid in the shop, I beg you. Skull amulet's done. Now I gain 75% more resources off my stuff. Royal steel, frozen relic. I ah, just just making up stuff at this point. Those don't exist. <laughs> yes, my plan worked. I just hit the market till I got a bunch of wood. You know what that means. Although I guess I'll leave these fish traps being as I use all my food because I have to break 300 rocks every day. No, why would you, why would you respawn after I said that? I can, I can make a skull pickaxe. My days of this slow mining hell might be coming to an end. Is it done? It's done. It's finally done. 2.5 attack damage. Ah, yes. Slightly faster. <laughs> a droid for 11k? Oh man, how do, how do I get $11,000? I gotta pull the early return on you guys. Do I have an abundance of anything in here? 164 iron? It's not gonna, it's not gonna be enough. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Screw it, sell all my stone. Yes, I might not say sold everything in my inventory, but I have a droid now. Let's go! Wait, is that, that's my droid right? Okay, my droid is tiny and also invisible. I forgot about the most important tool in Forager, but to get it, I need to go on a leveling spree. So, and there's one level, which we'll put into unlocking slot machines. What's life on an island without a little gambling fun? And maybe I just have an addiction, okay? Come on. And there's the second. Now we can unlock a little thing I like to call lighthouses. I don't like to call it, that's it, that is their name, is they are called lighthouses. Let's go ahead and put you right here. Not only does that light up my island, it also slightly drops more resources. Oh, and what do you know, I can make my skull sword now. And I made my medium backpack just kind of cause I could, which is really why I do everything in this game, but I mean, still. I don't even need all these inventory slots either. I've got a whole system of vaults. Hey, the skull sword. I never even use my weapons. <laughs> Finally, I have lavender. I can make my nomad shovel that I've just, I've been able to make it for the longest time, but the, the market was being mean. Nomad shovel. Digging always yields sand. That's the key sentence. Just considering I need sand to make glass for more lighthouses. And speaking of which, I finally went out of my way to look up what these do. And the demon scroll just looks like it'd be something fun. You know, something like this. <laughs> Who doesn't love some good fireballs? Another droid, but this time for 8K? How many gems do I have? Not enough to cover 8,000. I'm gonna have to let this one pass, but I will have my army. Also, the builder scroll boosts the production rate of everything. Oh my God, that's so fast. I gotta start using these scrolls more often. A spirit orb? I could get a free level off that. That reminds me, I need to make a spirit forge. Specifically the reason being, I can craft great skulls this way. Give me that spirit orb, a wandering traveler. And now level 33. We're gonna unlock Royal Steel, being as that's our next hurdle I have to go through, and auto repair, mainly because I want logistics. Double area effect on everything. Is the hammer one of the tools I have to get? Should I, I'll just craft it now, whatever. And look at that, I can make a total of 11 Royal Steel. Not to worry though, just gonna make some more lighthouses to calm myself down. Yeah, look at that, I did need it. So, you know, not a, not a bad purchase. All right, now how much sand do I get? Two. Oh, skeleton. And that's another great skull. I think I only need to kill about 80 more. <laughs> it's finally time. I can make a crystal pickaxe for the love of God. This didn't really do much either. Although now I can apparently get gems from my regular stuff, which is good for all the royal steel I need. 10 electronics. Look, even on this tiny island, sometimes there's not enough room. We had to revamp, okay? On the bright side, I picked up some potions from the shop. This one's called Liquid Lock. Resources drop double items. For the first time in my life, I'm actually glad to be mining. Oh, it even works with the fish. <laughs> yes, soon my secret plan of making a fish market will be underway. I'm sorry, 523 gold, that's how much I just got. 462 iron still, and only 70 steel. Cool, 88 emeralds. All right, so hear me out. 
I sell all of these and then buy all five spirit orbs. And now I get the next five levels for free. Wait, if I combine this explosion potion with another quarry thing? Oh, this is time sensitive, but it just might be crazy enough to work. <laughs> yes, potions are amazing. Why have I not been using these this whole time? And a whole quarry sweep like that. Oh my God. I'm nothing short of a madman. Ooh. Die, chicken. Anyways, game, I would like to level up now. Thank you. And whilst I'm at it, let's go ahead and do that five more times. Level up, level up, level up, level up. Oh, baby, level up. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll never do that again. Lighthouse, double area of effect. Unlock power plants. Get some engineering in there. Unlock mining rods. And craft items collect themselves. And manufacture. Unlocks factories. So all I need now is just a lot more royal steel and a lot more great skulls. Why are these wood... Is this the demon biome? I went from having one island to being in the demon biome. You know, I think it's time I sell all this obsidian that I have no use for, because I have 2.7 of it and it sells for eight coins each, which means I have 34,000 coins now. <laughs> now architecture is gonna be key. Structures cost 25% fewer materials. And then summoning unlocks the sigil maker. I don't know what I'm gonna need that for, but I'm mainly focused on the 25% fewer materials right now, simply because that means lighthouses cost less now. Ah, uh, efficiency, how I love thee. Oh, and I can make a royal shovel now? Sorry, Crystal Sword, you have to wait. I use my shovel more. And I can make a skull wallet? We went from zero to 100 real quick. And you know what this means. Time for some more mining. Oh, royal shovel done. Digging always yields ores. And skull wallet done. Coins are worth 75% more. All for the sake of making my life easier. Oh, have 100,000. I have 141,000 coins. Remember when I sold my entire inventory for one droid? <gasps> Droids. You know what might be fun? The star scroll. Whoa, no, not a, it, bro it broke my market. Well, I'm pretty much in the sweet spot now. Break obsidian to get coins, break the market to buy new things with said coins. I went ahead and unlocked something called an offshore drill cause I feel like inevitably I'm gonna need it. Four royal steel for this thing. Why do I feel like I'm not out of the woods just yet? EMP grenade, I'm rich, why not? Right here, gang? <laughs> Explosions. Oh my God, everything's on fire now. Did that just give me 216 sand? Wait, offshore drills will give me sand by lighthouses? Wait, that one single skeleton just gave me 272 bones, which means I can craft 48 great skulls. I'm finally about to be out of my next stop gap. Also, I still need a frozen relic. Can I get it from you? Doesn't look like. However, I will take another EMP grenade or three. Why is it gain double XP? I just found an amazing potion. EMP grenade here. Oh, it just makes things easy. Hey, let's put another one down and right here. Well, that all got cleared pretty fast. Finally, skull boots. Now I'm slightly faster. Looks like I'm about to need a lot of royal clothing for my next stuff and still 20 more nightshade. Our good friend nighttime merchant came, so time to just buy some levels for free. Here it is, unlock shrines. That's just what I wanted to see. And excavator, also what I wanted to see. <laughs> I'm so rich. <laughs> Let's take a look. I have 1.7 thousand topaz now, 1,000 rubies, 800 amethyst, and 1.6 thousand emeralds. Now why there is a 22 minute cooldown, like everything in this game, all you gotta do is break it and place it again. All structures work twice as fast? Sure. Look at the experience I'm getting right now. Yeah, I'd say we're onto really great things. And a droid? Now I have two. I guess it's also about time that I make a little thing called a factory, which lets me make electronics. And more droids if I feel so inclined. So let's see, we can make 243 electronics. We'll just take half of that instead. And since I'm at it, I might as well make my lighthouses too, huh? Wait, no, I need to break all these. I forgot something super important. And that's because structures can cost half the amount of resources, which means I can make double my lighthouses. So I just accidentally turned all these rocks into animals. So all I know is I'm gonna have a lot of raw meat after this. What do you know? Approximately 850,000. Let's just sell all that. <laughs> I went up seven levels. And I can make bows now. And I've immediately got the golden bow. <laughs> and the skull bow. Wait, I'm sorry, did I read that right? 52,000 cooked meat? Why did I not sell this yet? Level 54, nice. It is in fact getting kind of lonely on the island, so I will be spawning a friendly companion. Hello, my fox friend. Where are you going? What are you, what is your mission? All right, I'm gonna let you do whatever. While I make the rest of what I need. Hey, crystal bow achieved. And the demon pickaxe achieved. How fast do I break stuff now? Still not as fast as one would hope. Ooh, now the demon bow. 
following right behind it the demon sword and my crystal wallet come on game i know there's one more coming why don't you go ahead and show it off there it is the big backpack four more inventory slots you know if i didn't make 97 volts wait 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 I noticed I have 1 million fiber. Uh, let's say I take this double XP potion and then sell it for a million experience. <laughs> and let's sell my raw meat. Two more. Wow, I'm actually almost a max level off of some cheese, huh? Well, considering everything takes void stuff at this point, I guess there's really only one place for me to go. Hello, void. 